tracking a PDF can actually be a lot easier than you might have thought. Essentially, if I uh, right click this PDF file that I want to mark and make comments on, I can open with Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge is a internet browser and it comes free with uh, any Windows PC, it'll probably be pre-installed, uh, including managed devices, and it's free to install if you don't have it already, for example, if you're using a Mac. So you can right-click, open it in Microsoft Edge, and it will look something like this. As you can see, there are some tools up here at the top, which I can use to edit this PDF. So all I have to do is I can draw and underline certain things, uh, I can use the little down arrow and I can change the colour depending on what I want. I can change the thickness, uh, so consider how visually you might not be able to distinguish the differences between colours, but you can uh, distinguish the difference between thickness. Highlighting is something you can also do as long as you can highlight the text. If it's not highlightable text on a PDF, then it's a little bit trickier to highlight, but it's still possible. If it is highlightable text, then you get probably the best feature, which is to be able to highlight things, right click and add a comment. So this comment is something that will be saved on the document. So you can do things like um, mark or add comments specific to the text that you have just highlighted. So uh, let's just say I want to do that. So now you can see that if I hover over here or if I click, I can open that up and I can see that. Uh, and this is exactly how somebody will see it if I now save as. So if I save as, that means I can save it as a separate document to the original. And I might want that, the original without my marking. And I can just put marked. I'll save that. And then now if I share this with somebody, and as long as I'm really clear that if they open it in Microsoft Edge, in Adobe Acrobat or on Google Drive, they will be able to see the comments. If they open it, say, as a preview file in their email or something like that, they probably won't be able to see the comments, though they will still be able to see things like highlighting and underlining and things like that. But to get the comments, which is probably the most useful thing, uh, you do need to open it in probably Edge is the best tool because it's the most likely thing that people will have. And that is it. So please do use Microsoft Edge. It's surprisingly useful when it comes to this sort of thing.